Hello and welcome back to No Man's Land for our survival let's play. We should have just seen a time lapse of um, of us doing the bailing on here. This getting the straw bales. We got something like I'll just go on to it. Where are we at? Right, so we actually got 79. The reason that that says five now is because I had to stop after and I actually forgot to do I've done the time lapse um, came off but forgot to do this bit so there's your extra 5 there um, so 79 bales we got off that which I think because it's been a while since I've done them, particularly on that field I think I, I was really surprised that we got that many um, the first thing that we're going to do I suppose technically the second thing that we're going to do, but the first thing that we're going to do in this sitting is get field number one planted. Um, I'm just going to go and see how much seed is left in this bag up here. And I'm going to put barley in this one as well. That should give us more than enough to where to cover the chickens for now. The um as far as the canola the price has still gone up. We over seven hundred per thousand litres now. So we're just going to let that crack on for now. Um, it does say that this month's the highest month for it. So, so we'll just see where we go with that. If we sell it today, then all well and good. If we sell it today, depending on how much we get, I might cut a couple of trees down and buy our next bit of equipment because what I wouldn't want to do is just sell the canola and let the uh, loan interest just whittle down on it I'd rather actually see sort of the benefit of it they're an absolute pain these trees you know along here I do like it I like the fact that it lines our uh, our farm and it's sort of I think it looks good however it's really really annoying you can see if you look ahead now our field number two isn't it the big one right at the back the canola still hasn't turned so it hasn't been ready for um, for November it must have been a month out when I planted that one which is a shame because it would have been nice to just sell it all in one just in case the place uh, the place the price starts to plummet I haven't had a look at used machinery yet today, I'll have to do that, but I mean the stuff that's been on there recently has just been ridiculously priced I, I mean, not ridiculously priced, but equipment that's way out of our price range If some of that stuff starts popping up on um, Carmston, I'll be absolutely over the moon. We'll be back on there tomorrow. Um, this video will probably, in fact, no, probably about it as long as I finish it. This will be Tuesday, so it'll be Tuesday the 1st of Feb. 
Um, and then Calmstone will be back on the Wednesday. I've actually got um, Wednesday's episode of Calmstone already already reco uh, recorded, and that was recorded before this or the previous um, No Man's Land. I think this is possibly number th episode 32. With it being 32, we've absolutely rattled through these episodes. I mean, it hasn't been out overly long, has it? Um, with the, just with the way I'm recording it, because obviously I haven't released episode 31 yet, um, I still haven't decided what we're doing with that piece of land over there. I think yesterday's episode was called something like Decisions to be Made or something about that. Um, so yeah, I still need to decide what we're going to do with that. I think we've got so many different options. I mean, we haven't got the money to do any of them options, but we do have so many different options. I suppose I'm kind of hoping. It's um, Sunday, Sunday night tonight, which, what will it be? It's actually early hours on Monday morning now, uh, 31st January. Um, I suppose I'm kind of hoping that a really cheap Gordon wagon will come out tomorrow in Mod Hub because that's what I need. If I can get that Lorden wagon, I can start working on our new piece of land. Because I know what's going to end up happening. I'm, I'm going to wait. Um, and then I'm just going to, in the end, just think, oh, forget it, I'll just plough it up. Because I can't just leave it. I've just spent 85 grand on this new bit of land. I can't leave it forever. But I also don't... I want to maximise what we've got. But I can't do that without the right equipment, so... I'm kind of stuck at the minute, to be honest. I mentioned last episode, I think, about the different baler wrappers. I need to have a look at that, because I haven't checked yet. Um, just with sort of real life work, I haven't been able to, to go through things the last few days. I mean, the grass looks so good, doesn't it, on 22. It looks really, really... sort of... vibrant. And the animation when you're cutting it and tedding it... Um, it's really, really cool. I think I've just missed that bit of a triangle there, haven't I?
nothing in there, is there? Um, it's that animal transport and a, uh, a header, header trailer. A rock picker, that's what we need. Get a rock picker in there. The um, the other thing that would bring us money in is obviously selling them bills. Um, when we get to that point, I'll do what we normally do with them bills. I won't show us picking them all up because it's an absolute pain. I'll just show us uh, when we actually get to the sell point. So, this is us pretty much done in this field. Yep. It's lost a little bit down here. It's noticeable, isn't it, how much um, seed you use when you're putting barley in compared to when we've put canola in. Canola, it hardly seems to budge. Still can't get over that this only does five mile now in reverse. Seems absolutely crazy. Right, let's check. Wrong one. Price for canola, it's still going up. Obviously the barley we're not going to sell. Um, what do we want to do? I think seeing as the sort of... There's nothing obvious springing out in the fact that we want to wait for the canola. We've seeded the field we want to seed. Oh, I'll tell you what we need to do. I'll tell you exactly what we need to do. We need to weed this field. I'm sure if we put field info on. Yep. Yeah. Right, what do we know? In fact, I can use I can use the 6105 because it's in the first growth stage. I think our weeder is up here. And as you've probably guessed, and if you watch these, uh, if you're sort of a regular viewer, I still haven't checked to see when I put them trees in, to see when the two years is up. I mean, I know those spruce are definitely not fully grown. The pine look almost there, but they were definitely done at the same time. And then, I planted some along along here as well, didn't I? I'll just go over. See, this is because there's been a good few days. I know I've recorded yesterday on here, but because there's been a good few days, I kind of forget what's going on. So we planted along here as well, didn't I? And they haven't done anything yet. But even though it seems like it was ages ago and I planted them, it was probably only sort of two in-game days ago. So what, we'll start around here. Uh, 
and we will put this on and we'll get them on. Do we need a fertilize anywhere? Yeah, we need to fertilize both of them. Both field one and field four. In fact, if we've got some fertilizer, I could probably do with fertilizing this field whilst the crop's still in the first growth stage. I think that would be a good idea. To be honest, I like getting the fertilizer on before it's even at this stage. So when it's either first ploughed or when it's first um, or cultivated, or when it's first seeded. And I don't, off the top of my head, know why we didn't do that. Whether we ran out of time when we were doing it or what, I'm not sure. This is a difficult one to see, isn't it? compared to the canola. I'm so glad I got this weedy, you know, it just... I know I've probably mentioned it before, but it just feels like we turn such a corner when we've got this. I'm really not looking forward to picking them bills up, you know. I will do it in this episode, like I said, the um Especially if the canola price starts leveling off. Cause then it might give us a chance to get something bought. The other thing I'm not looking forward to doing, I tell you, and that, in fact, it leads us on to something else that would like, I'd like to purchase. That plough that we've got at the minute isn't it only about two or two and a half metres long. In fact, we'll get at the bottom of it and I'll have a look. Keep pressing the wrong one. Um, down here, hey, right, ploughs. 1.2 meters. <laughs> that is awful. Right. The next thing that we might buy then, although I want the storm picker, the next thing we might buy is a um, a subsoiler that will also act as a plow because I can't be doing. I mean, look at the size of that. That all needs plowing up. I'm not doing that with a 1.2 metre plough. It's not happening.
you'll see on there there's sort of bits of green every um, just scattered around. I'm not bothered about the small bits. Do you know what I might do? I might, next time I might plant wheat and see if they're a bit easier to distinguish. Although I think you get, I think you get more barley, barley than you do wheat, even though the wheat's more um, profitable to sell, I think. But because we are literally, we've grown barley purely for the chickens no other reason then that's why we're doing barley I'm kind of not wanting this um, this in-game deer to uh, to go over two episodes. Um, why am I keep going up there? I need to. I'm going over the same bit. What am I doing? Right. Tell you what. Let's start down here and. Stop being daft. Yeah, I feel like we've got enough to do. That'll cover the full in-game day. Even if it's going to be a longer video. Which, to be fair, I think yesterday's video was quite long as well. Um, I've done the editing for, this, for yesterday's video this morning. And I'm sure that's something like 35 minutes long. Obviously you already know that because it was released yesterday but off the top of my head I'm sure that's what it was. This series really has changed in that regard where um, now because of the different things we, we're doing we seem to be having the odd months where there's very little to do because we're waiting for things to grow or um, other chickens to produce or whatever and then there's just months where you just flat out which I suppose it's no different when you play seasons is it? there's that time of year sort of the end of the summer beginning of the, the autumn where it's just manic you didn't have to get all your grass work done all your harvest and done if you've got animals then obviously that comes into it I miss seasons how we have it at 19 we need something like that back like a genuine genuine seasons Right, I know I said I don't mind the odd bit of green, but there's still quite a lot on there. Yeah, see some there. Just see that bright little bit of green sticking up.
Right, I'll just see if I can find this little strip over here. And then I'll quite happily leave it. I think that should be it. Yeah. I'm not bothered about those few little dots. Bump. Right, I'll just put that here and I'll get back it away shortly. If we don't have enough fertilizer here, I'm gonna have to go up and get some because we uh we don't have any more down here. In fact, I seem to remember we haven't got much. Oh, we've got more than I thought. Whether we'll get two fields done with the like is another matter. I'm going to put the help window on for this purely because it shows us the width. That wasn't far off at all, that. Please save the crop. It does. A little bit. It's took a little bit off. Right. Let's see if this covers the rest. Pretty much I'm not far off anywhere. with that and it only used four percent as well that didn't use much at all did it Though it's tempting to reduce here, I think if I do, we'll start missing some on the left-hand side. That's the smallest we can get it. I think what I'm going to do after this, as long as the canola price is still going up, which we will check now, and it is, although 708, I mean, it hasn't gone up, has it? I wonder if it's just levelling out. Just ditch this and then we will get the Astaya. 
and we'll get them bills picked up. If I know where this tire is, oh, it's up here, isn't it? I think it had the stump grind run at last. Right at the beginning of the last episode, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. I was going to say we could do with putting the combine away, but if that field's going to be ready next episode, it's pointless really, isn't it? Right, I'm going to start picking these up. It's going to be at least two loads, so whether I'll show the middle one selling or not, or the middle one, the first one selling or not, I don't know, but um, I'll start getting this done and I'll come back. Right, this is the second and final trailer load of our 79 bales. We got 1600 and something for the first load. I'll go on and check. Ah, oh, there's something about the canola I want to say as well. So, 1619 for the first load. Um, I imagine this is going to be similar. It looks about the same as what the last one was. If we go on to here, I thought November was the highest for canola. It's not, it's actually December, I missed that. And it's still going up as well, so it's 7.13 now. So what I think we're going to do is... Because I'm conscious, I'm sure it... We've already been recording for like well over half an hour and and I mean straight as well. It's not like we've been sometimes when we record and we sort of we do a few minutes and then we jump to another bit and then jump to another bit and our time lapse goes on. With this, I think we've started with the time lapse. Then we've done something like a solid thirty odd minutes recording. So that won't get chopped up, that'll just be as is when it comes to editing. Um, and then we've got whatever we're doing now as well so it's going to be a long video right so slightly less than last time but still not bad so all the fours at the minute 4444 because I'm going to wait and sell the canola tomorrow what we're going to do is, we're going to, I'm going to sign off from here, however, I think I'm going to then hook the 6105 up to the cultivator, and I think we're going to cultivate field number three, and we'll do that as a time lapse, and that will take us out. So, today we've got through, what have we got, we've We've got the initial time offs at the beginning of Bale and we've weeded, field, wheeled and wheeled. <laughs> we have weeded and fertilised field number four, fertilised field number one, and in fact we've seeded barley in field number one as well. And then we've made overall just under three grand on bales. So we'll leave it here um, join us next episode on our survival let's play where hopefully we'll make a decent amount of money on canola including the field that I hope is about to turn in December as well so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one <laughs>